Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video is an interesting one. Now you take a look at this, we can see we've got some separation up above. We know what this is, but the interesting part is she was not favoring this foot very much. Kind of caught me off guard when she came in. And the reason why? Well, this was attempting to heal on its own. And you're going to see that as we trim this, exactly what happens and how that cow or how that hoof goes about resolving these issues on their own. However, in this case, it was not successful. Here you can see those telltale marks in the white line, indicating a potential problem there, and that separation up above confirming that. common question I get is, how can you tell that that horn is detached? See that dark shading there? That's a clear sign that we've got debris up behind that. That means that that sole is loose and it needs to come away. Now right here, my knife meets some resistance underneath there. And I lift it up, kind of take a peek there to see what's going on. And what we've got is several layers of separation there. And that those layers have caught the tip of my knife and kept me from making that cut. Now these layers that we see, each one of those layers, that's one of the attempts at trying to heal this lesion. Now I mentioned before, this cow when she walked in or this heifer, she didn't show any discomfort really on this foot, kind of took me off guard. That's because these areas of separation, that lifted up horn, that's a way to try to resolve these issues on their own. But she's had three failed attempts at this where what happens is, is that horn stops growing. That's what causes that differentiation in layers that we see is when that horn, will, it'll stop growing for a little bit in an attempt to try to get a new sole to form there. And then it's done that here three times in an attempt to try to heal this. So what we're going to do is help this out. We're going to remove all these layers so we don't have anything uh, causing problems there. Nothing to trap debris. Clean that area out really well. And this will then resolve in one shot. So as I'm working around the edges here, all I'm really trying to do is make sure that we don't have any, any pieces of loose horn that may cause any problems later on. So as I make these cuts around the edges, as that separation becomes less and less, I'm just kind of working with the tip of my knife, lifting up a little bit as I go and removing any of the loose stuff that might be around that. That way, when I go to put my treatment on, I'm going to get that exactly where I want it. And I don't have to worry about any of these little, little edges covering up spots that may need to get some treatment. Now that we've got the block applied, we can get to that real thorough cleaning with the chlorhexidine, get this entire area 
uh, cleaned up and identify any problem areas. That way we've got a good spot to put our salicylic acid. And really with these, that's all it's gonna take. Now that we've got that loose horn cleared away, we're able to clean the area thoroughly with chlorhexidine. Everything is the way we want it. That salicylic acid can do its job and it does it actually quite quickly. Within a couple of days, that corium will be producing a brand new layer of hoof horn over that and this will resolve in no time. And there we have it, guys. Another happy customer. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.